Kim. I'm Christina, and we're, we're the Warriors Geeks. Geeks, and we're here today to talk about Smallville. Prophecy. Prophecy. Yeah. I knew the name. Yeah. Um, and I, well, what, I gotta say, Supergirl, Fortune, and now Prophecy are all contending for the worst episode <laughs> of the season. <laughs> Okay, the, okay, let me just talk about the, the things that I actually, that I really, that I did like. Wait, let's, let's break it up in three parts, because there's Lois and Clark, there's Toy Man and the Legion, and there's Supergirl and Oliver. Let's start with Lois and Clark. Um, I, a lot of Clois fans loved all the interaction with Clois. Okay, I liked how when Lois was like, freeze breath, and he was like, arctic breath. I thought that was really, yeah. really cute. She's like, oh, do you, you know, do I have to do that head, you know, tilt and squinty eye thing he's like apparently like she noticed his yeah. habit and he was kind of annoyed yeah, and that was cute that was very cute i love that scene the scene at the end when lois has said i can't marry you erica did a fantastic job i wish they would have zoomed it, out though they just I had wish it they right here yeah i wish they would have shown the clark's face because he's like what are you saying I'm just i like, wanted to see your face when you said what are you saying like they didn't show his face till the end and it's just kind of like hmm kind of frowning like, I wanted to see the anguish in your face, Clark. <laughs> yes. The yes. woman you love just said, no! <laughs> I wanted yes. to see your anguish. <laughs> yes, yes, I totally agree. I was just thinking, I was like, why aren't they zooming out? I was like, I, don't, I haven't even seen the front of her dress. I've only seen the back of it. Yeah, but I mean, she, thinking. dang, she still looked great in that, though. Yeah, I was like, turn it! <sighs> I'm like in my buns of steel like hers. <laughs> And then, you know what, I know that was supposed to be like a bombshell or whatever, but it's kind of hard to fall who, into that because... Who hasn't seen the pictures from TV Guide of their wedding, and then if you saw that Jimmy Fallon episode right. with, with Clark, he said, if you're going to stand me up at the altar, then... Uh, you're gonna if you're going to call up the wedding, you're just going to have to stand me up at the altar. So, I mean, we, we know that, so it's not really a bombshell. They're going to work it out. They're going to work it out. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like, ah, uh, who cares? Almost. But other than that, I mean, that was uh, Erica's, like, that was a really great moment. I just wish it zoomed out. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's rewind. Let's rewind. <laughs> let's rewind. <laughs> the fortress. They went to Jarrell's. You know, Daddy, I want your permission to marry my woman. Which I was kind of surprised about. Well, I wasn't really surprised. I'm, their, their relationship <laughs> is confusing, because, like, it's Jarrell like, sucks butt, and then it's, Jarrell, help me, and it's, oh, Jarrell, you take me off again. Jarrell, then, then he's like, be my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> daddy? <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> I like, play. No, I, but I, I like that he, he did that, though. I'm like, aw. That's sweet. Even, even though I'm confused about Jarrell, when did, when did he just decide to pop up and be alive again? <laughs> when? <laughs> anyway, he takes away Clark's powers and gives them to Lois for them to learn a lesson. Which I assumed the lesson would be Lois gets to learn what it's like to be Clark, and Clark gets to learn what it's like to be Lois, to be in her shoes and have someone all-powerful running away and doing all kinds of things while he's on the sidelines, and she'd, ha she'd get to learn what it's like to have all that power and, and you know, you know have all that responsibility. That is her third time with powers. Yeah, it is. But, apparently at the end... Which I guess we cannot confirm, because Clark really didn't lo let jor speak. <laughs> He's like, this was about control. I'm like, how? <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> how did you gauge that? <laughs> did jor don't, don't speak control? Wait, toy leading, man? leading eardrums. Please I'm don't sorry. scream my ear again. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll scream this way. Scream that way. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't get what his lesson was, or how he came to that conclusion. And then, he's, and then he was upset, which he didn't seem super upset as far as this performance. He took out the crystals like, I'm done with these trials. Because apparently you want to take me off so I decide not to listen to you anymore, yeah. Dad. That's what I assumed the lesson was about. Because we know jor can just plot powers on people because that's what he did to Jonathan Kitt in season yeah. 3. So... We know he could just plot powers on people. You know, think of Jorel, so many powers from beyond the grave. I bet Clark doesn't even need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and what does she do with the powers, man? Okay, she she did save people. She realized that, you know, Clark has to kind of decide who he's going to save and whatever. And it's just a lot of weight on his shoulders. Which I did she, like that moment. Yeah, she got I, that. I thought that was, I thought was but, a good moment. Okay, okay, so when Toy Man pops in, up into the scene, she goes to Toy Man, rushes over there, and... Um, 
Toy Man makes a Lana reference, and maybe that freaked her out because no one else will have a real a real Lana conversation with her. And and then um, she just he says, "I'm gonna have my buddies kill Clark if." You don't put this on you right now. This and little star. This little starro thing, not the starro, the conqueror starfish thing. I know it sounds weird. It looks like a star me, or is it a star you? The purple one, the, pu the purple Pokemon. That's what it looks like. It's a starfish. But um, and it sounds silly. But you want to hear read a really good story? Batman be or no? Uh, why Batman she, Beyond. Batman Beyond. With, with the Justice League. Yeah, when Su when Superman asks uh, Terry McGinnis to join the Justice League. Great storyline. If you think Star Wars ridiculous, just watch <laughs> watch those episodes yeah. of Batman Beyond. Yeah. Okay. But Anyways. back to the story. She knew it controlled Star Girl. She decided to put it on to save Clark, and then she became an even bigger threat because, of course, Toy Man decided to manipulate her. That was the dumbest thing it Lois could do. That was out of character. It Last was. week she pulled a gun on Tess and said, "I don't accept." Failure. Skank. <laughs> Basically. I'm a superhero's wife. I'm a general's daughter. I get things done. <laughs> and yeah. this week it's... Yeah. I, I surrender. I, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. And I was just like, that's... What? I, I just couldn't... That I was just, the dumbest it was. thing. Seriously. I not believe that was she's like, She's like, you're my crap tonight, Clark. Oh my gosh, I'm using a lot of voice for Lois. <laughs> Going back seasons before, and and, and watching Lana. I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I, I couldn't. Do I can't think off the top of my head. Lana doing something that stupid. I just don't know anybody off the top of my head who would do something that, that was really dumb. dumb. And I, and it was so out of, of character. character. That was crazy. She knows she's faster than the speeding bullet. Yeah, she could rush over there and save. She could, she could rush over there before he'd have time to make the phone call for them to stop them from killing Clark because she's on her way. It just didn't make any <sighs> sense. Okay, um, let's talk about okay. We, part two. Part two. Toy Man and the Legion of Doom, which they had a lot of members of the Legion of Doom, and I'm like, oh, the Legion of Doom, but all they did was sit at a table. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Cool. Oh, but their plan, right? Okay, look, Lois has discovered this company is doing this plan, and it's turned out the Legion of Doom is behind it, right? So their plan is to control the water of Metropolis. Now I'm thinking. They're, They're going to poison the water. Yeah. They're going to put nanobites in the water and control the minds of the citizens of Metropolis. You're not, they're not as smart as you. No. They want to charge you high prices for water. We have politicians that do that. Oh, the Legion of Doom. <laughs> high Why? Water. Why? Are they behind the for gas prices? And the future of the chocolate. <laughs> they are to blame hey, for the food inflation. Hey, if they behind the gas price, I ain't waiting for no Superman. Let's do something now. <laughs> Let's do something about that you. now. <laughs> you know, you know that that I couldn't believe it. That was could, that was ridiculous. Was, was like, We're the no, Legion of Doom. We drink milk. <laughs> Got <to> milk. <laughs> You're gonna want it after you won't be able to. And and I'm and Metallo was they said Metallo was there, but he left on good terms. So I mean we know he's a villain, but on Smallville land he left on good terms. So I'm like, okay, how did that happen? And then how bad was Roulette? Because didn't Chloe pay her to do all that stuff to Oliver? And and then Clark, you know, he came to Toy Man later and said, you know, I, you're not gonna tell my secret because you would have told it by now and you still want to play a game. So I'm like, wow, somebody watched read the Hush series from Batman. But here's the thing, he takes his phone and he crushes it. I've defeated you! And then he leaves it there and I was like, but he can put the phone back together. Or just get another one. Yeah. Just... Who crushes hands! <laughs> yeah, crush him! Yeah, <laughs> Who needs hands? Exactly. Super villains. <laughs> Okay, let's. Oh, let's do it. Does that include part two? I guess it concludes part two. Part three. Part three. Supergirl and Oliver. Not surprised about Supergirl going into doing something by herself because she does that all the time in her comic books, thinking that she can take on these big tasks by herself and achieve them. And I thought it was very hilarious that she was locked in that little prison thing. Yeah. Because I'm just like, ha ha, this is exactly what would happen because she's not as smart as she thinks she yeah. is. Um, <clears throat> Oliver. You know, you know, 
going there and everything. I, I thought it was okay. It didn't bother me. I'm like, okay, well, at least this is, this is an advancement. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to, th like, when I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, they keep, you know, pushing around the same brush every time they need to see a sign. But I'm like, I'm just going to kind of let that go. Yeah. Even though I just didn't when I mentioned it. But, um, <laughs> and, um, They killed the know. budget with the fortress and what was lifting. Oh. Yeah, so, um. Oliver found the arrow bow, the bow of Orion, which after they got it, Granny Goodness popped up and said, You found the only thing that could destroy Darkseid. And then she destroyed it. I'm like, well, I, maybe Darkseid's not so tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that woman is very creepy. Yes, yeah, she is creepy. She's very creepy. And then Oliver, at the end, he found a piece of gold kryptonite, and you see that, you know, he is going to be controlled by Darkseid and, and to do stuff. So and that probably I'm, he has been controlled you know, by Yeah, Darkseid. so I'm glad they didn't just botch that story up and leave it in Nowhereville. But um, Supergirl, she couldn't finish her task because Jor-El started, you know, calling to her. So he yeah. calls her to the fortress and basically says, you know, I think Smallville made a mistake when we casted you and pulled you into the series. And <laughs> you're holding Clark back. And this is Clark's show, and you need to get out of here. I don't care where you go. You can go to the future. You can just leave the planet for all I care. But this is about Clark, and you need to go. <laughs> you want me to just leave my family? And don't even say goodbye. <laughs> just get out of here. Yeah, just go. <laughs> just go. But, you know, she's going to the future getting her Brainiac 5 on, so. Yeah, but that, that's what jor conversation sounded like to me. Just get out of here because this is about Clark and your distraction. <laughs> You're not wanted. Oh. Uh, Which, bad. you know what, I thought they never really did right with Supergirl on the show, really. Like, I like that episode with her evil dad and everything. It was out of place. And I think Jarell's little conversation with her, get out of here, this is about Clark, you know, mm -hmm. even though I'm paraphrasing it and mocking it as well. That's basically what it was. Yeah. Exactly. Cassidy said, Cassidy Freeman told Christina in their interview that um, she said she believes the fans would be happy. At uh, least, no, she's, well, yeah, she said specifically about her, the resolution well, with Tess. With Tess. We know Michael Rose's mom's coming back. We know... Tom Welling's interview on Jimmy Fallon is... Revealed what, nothing. Revealed absolutely nothing. And I love how Jimmy's reaction because that's exactly how we feel. Kind of like, oh, are you going to fly, you know, type thing. And so, and Clark... And He's Tom, like, I want to know you're going to fly. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly how we feel. And finally, we'll be able to tell our mother when she walks to the living room, did he fly? Did he fly? Yes, did the dumb it fly? Yeah. So and then she turns and she scoffs and she says, you know, if he let's does start it, a Twitter uh, thing that says hashtag and let's get it trending. Fly, Clark, fly. <laughs> fly, Clark, fly. Yes, let's, let's start that right away. Fly, Clark, fly. And so uh, next week's the season finale. I mean, there's really not much we can. I mean, there's. I mean, it, that's it. it. That's it. They have to tie. Bring it, the please. Bring it, man. man I, I was so disappointed with this episode. Um, I was so disappointed. Yeah, was cool. I wish it didn't exist, <laughs> honestly. Because if I was a Team Klana fan, every time I got into an argument with the Chloe Shipper, I would say, "Aha! <laughs> but Lois, you put the Starhold device on her back of her neck and nearly killed Clark." That is what I would go to, and you know what, I think that that is viable to use until the end of time. Well anyways, tell us what you think about the episode, tell us if you absolutely loved it, or if you just thought it was nah, like we do. But anyways, I'm Katrina. No, I didn't think it was nah, I thought I did not like it at all. I just thought it was nah. Cause it belongs in hate town. I, I don't hate it. Not because I'm a hater, because it deserves hate. I, I don't hate it, I just thought it was nah, because I thought that episode could have been done... I don't know, two months earlier. No, it shouldn't have been done at all. I don't know. The only thing I the, the only thing I really liked was the, the little hints and you know, the the Oliver at least advancing his story somewhat. So but uh, it seemed like everything that was in there could have been done within like fifteen minutes of a really, really awesome episode. But anyways, tell us what you think. I'm Katrina. I'm Christina and, and we're the Gordon Geeks. Geeks. Episode was crap town on crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Katrina from the Gorgeous Geeks, and I'm here to tell you that we have some swag for you to buy. Like good, great stuff, like this coffee mug. And what does this say, Katrina? It says yesterday's science fiction is today's science facts. Ooh, ooh, tastes like.
like geeky. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and buy cool t-shirts. Like this nice cool white tank top that says gorgeous geek on it. You know you want it. And you can dress it up like this. Or this. Or this. Or even like this. I'm getting chilly. Hmm. Geekiness. <laughs> or this. No, you can't see it. But it's still there. So go to thegorgeousgeeks.com and buy some swag. Go to thegorgeousgeeks.com to get other t-shirts, keychains, and other cool geeky swag that will keep you looking fly and still representing your geeky pride.